Good morning, welcome to a fantastic Friday. I'm Kamara and this is Hartford Elementary's Time to Talk. Yeah, I'm Skylar. Today is Friday, February 18, 2022. We are here to make sure you know what is happening at Hutto. But first, we need everyone to stop what you're doing and take a moment for. We pledge your allegiance and a moment of silence. Ready, salute, pledge. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please take a moment to think about the kind of day you would like to have. Now it's time for the most important thing. Let's hear about today's lunch menu from my kitchen correspondent. Today our chefs in the cafeteria are preparing pepperoni pizza, a special of the day, tater tots, and vegetable of the day. Don't forget you can purchase ice cream for $1. Be sure to thank our lunchroom staff for all the hard work this week. That sounds delicious. Today is the important day for some of our students and our staff, it's time to wish some very special people a happy birthday. Happy birthday today to Lakin Shockley. We hope you have a great birthday. Happy birthday to all of you. Now let's learn how to, how we can each be our very best, which will make our class and school a better place. we come to school we have a chance to decide what kind of day you're going to have i always aim for a positive day i keep a good attitude speak kindly to others and do my best to get along with everyone one thing that helps me is that remember that in my classroom these are my teammates my family and even though we might not always like each other, it is so very important to still get along. Just two people getting into an argument can bring the whole class now. Do your best each day to get along with everyone. And I promise that each day will get better and better for you. This month we are celebrating Black Americans who have not gained the recognition they should have because of the color of their skin. Pay attention as we introduce you to some amazing people. Can kids change the world? It all started with a trip. The year was 1958. A little girl named Ayana Najuma was seven years old. She and 19 other kids went on a trip, far from their home in Oklahoma. They went up north to New York City. In New York, the kids noticed something. White people and African-American people could use the same water fountains. They could eat in the same restaurants. They could even sleep next door to each other in hotels. That may not sound strange to you, but it was strange to Ayana and her friends. They were African-American kids from the South. At that time, the Southern part of our country was segregated. That means that African-American people and white people were kept apart. In Oklahoma City, where the kids lived, water fountains had signs that said whites only. African-American kids and white kids couldn't go to school together. They couldn't eat in the same restaurants. The kids were amazed at how different New York City was from the South. When they got back to Oklahoma, they said, why do we have to live this way? They knew the way their community was set up was wrong. 
white people had more rights than African-American people. The kids made a plan to fix things. But would it work? The kids decided to get the restaurants to change so that African-American people were allowed to eat in them. It could be dangerous to try to do that. Many people would be angry, but the kids were brave. They planned a sit-in. At a sit-in, you sit in a restaurant and ask to be served. You don't leave until you are served. It's a peaceful way to change something that is unfair. The kids went into training with a group of African-American adults. In training, these adults taught the kids about nonviolence. They taught them about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Many people didn't want African-American people to eat in a whites-only restaurant. The kids learned that people would be unkind. The kids learned that they had to stay calm and be peaceful, no matter how badly others behaved. In training, the adults yelled at the kids. They threw water on them. The kids practiced being calm and not yelling back. Soon, they were ready to do their first sit-in. The kids' first sit-in was at the cat's lunch counter. It was a whites-only restaurant. Ayana went with about 12 other kids. They all wore their best clothes. They went in and sat down. They were polite. Ayana asked for a hamburger and a Coke. The waitress said, no. The other customers were angry. They didn't like that African-American kids were trying to change the restaurant. They did not want it to be integrated so that everyone was allowed to eat there. The other customers yelled at the kids. They poured ketchup and coffee on them. Oyana says, I wasn't scared. I knew I was doing the right thing. The kids didn't yell. They didn't fight. They sat quietly and talked with each other. They had brought magazines and coloring books. At the end of the day, the restaurant closed. The kids had to go. The next day, they went back. They ordered food again. No one gave it to them, but they were not going to give up. They were determined. On the third day, the kids ordered food. This time, the waitress brought it to them. From that day on, the cat's lunch counter was integrated. Anyone could eat there. The kids were so happy. They had made one place in their community better. Ayana had learned something. She says, I was little, but my voice was just as important as everyone else's voice. But their work wasn't done. So many restaurants in their community were segregated. Over the next six years, the kids did sit-ins at many restaurants. More and more kids joined each time. The restaurant owners got pretty clever about trying to keep the kids away. At one restaurant, workers took away all the chairs. There was no place to sit. But would that stop the kids? No. Ayana's little sister, Lana, had the right idea. When she didn't have a chair to sit on, she just leaned on the table. In most places, people wouldn't let the kids use the bathroom. That wasn't going to stop the kids either. One by one, the kids integrated the restaurants in their town. The kids had changed their city. One small group of kids had made their community better for everyone. They may have been little, but their voices were huge. We have talked about self-awareness. That means that you know how you are feeling and are aware of what you are doing and or about to do. Remember that you are the person in control of your actions, words, behaviors. You have to manage your own behavior. Stop worrying about how others 
I'm behaving and pet your own behavior. It's your job to be aware of your behavior and to manage your own behavior. You you know what is right and wrong. Each of us starts off the week with a hundred in conduct and it is up to you if you will keep it or not. That means if you do not earn this week Friday, then you may you made choices that you really need to think about. Now it's time for us to sign up. We'll see you next time. Tiger Talk.